right, guys, yes, we have the Ferrari 458. This is a 2010 model. We're gonna do a complete review of the car, but I want it to go over real quick, a little history of getting the car, and then just a few specs of what the car has. So I ended up selling the uh, Porsche 911 Carrera S. That's going to its new home sometime next week. So it's still at CarSpec Garage Quarters but it's headed out to uh, a brand new family in the Georgia area. And uh, so I had to replace it. And the 458 has always been kind of a dream car to me. And I, so I'm so blessed, lucky to be able to get it. So let me just tell you a little bit. We bought the car from Merit Partners in Georgia. I'll link their website. I'm also sporting their merch that they sent me. So, um, I looked and looked and looked over <clears throat> all the websites, couldn't find anything, or every time I called, the cars were sold. So I called Merritt, they said, yes, we still have it. I said, let me put a deposit down. I'm coming down the next day to look at it, which is about three hours away from us. And got there, we drove it, talked to the sales guy, decided to purchase the car. So we did all the finance stuff and got that handled. They took it and had the uh, complete annual service done for me and then shipped it to the um, house for me, which we received last night around 8, 30, 9 o'clock in the evening. Um, got up this morning and took it to Magic City Octane. I'll link them below, Cool Car Club, the second Saturday of every month here in the Birmingham, Alabama area. So. I'll give you a brief view of the car and what it's got, and we'll talk about it. So the spec is pretty high. It's got, if you come over here, it's got carbon fiber uh, throughout the whole car, just everywhere as it's beeping. This car beeps like crazy, keys in the ignition. And you can see the Alcantara in the seats and Alcantara on the door panels itself. So it's a unique spec. And it's also got really this piping as well. And let me take it. Got piping down here as well. Um, really super cool. Of course, everybody knows this is the last of the naturally aspirated motors. And Pina Farina, the last of him developing or designing cars for Ferrari or one of them. So this car is also more of a investment vehicle for me. Um, I believe that these cars are gonna do nothing but rise in value. I think they're at their bottom or they probably hit their bottom a couple of years ago and they're on their way up. So for, you know, the four five, the 4.5 liter naturally aspirated motor, very nice. This thing also has full PPF, but here's the problem. This PPF was installed or applied at 2010 when this car was sold. So I'm in the process. I'm going to take all the PPF off of it and I, uh, we're going to get new PPF applied to it. Um, the longer we wait, it scares me to keep it without going ahead and, you know, and removing it now. So we're going to focus on that and then get uh, PPS shop here in the Birmingham area to do the install for me. I love the wheels. Uh, to me, these are probably some of the prettiest wheels you're going to find for me on the Ferrari that are stock. Um, it does have a lift. The front lift, I think front lift is almost mandatory on these cars these days. Um, it's just, it's so important. It's got the um, top end um, headlights, the headlights swivel, move around with the steering wheel. Uh, not really any carbon fiber on the outside, like on the canards or anything like that. But it's, it's not bad. I mean, it's still a good car. A lot of leather. Again, we got the carbon fiber. Um, so uh, it's got navigation. Of course, I will not use 2010 navigation. It may run me into a lake. There's a lake there. I think it knows where it is going. This is the, the lake. machine knows. This is the lake. Stop yelling at me. No, it's stop not yelling. yelling. There's no lake here. It does have Bluetooth and it's um you know just for the phone so it's no streaming of music unfortunately with the iphone i mean again this is just older technology but it works really well and i'll leave you with this one of the um one of the cool things i think about this compared to the 911 is how much smoother of a ride this car is it's got the come over here parker it's got the bumpy bumpy road button right here that you can hit 
and it smooths the car out no matter if you're in race mode or sport mode or wet mode, which is really just kind of leisurely mode, I think. Um, but I cannot get over how smooth this thing is, but then yet can be so violent and fast when you put the hammer down to it. <laughs> And of course, it's got the seven speed floppy paddles, as they all do. So, listen, I'm excited to take you guys on this journey. We're going to do a lot of videos on the 458. Comment below what you would like to see. Um, again, this, the next video is going to be a proper, proper um, review of the car. And we'll be doing that in the coming weeks. And we look forward to seeing you on those videos. So, please like subscribe, ring the bell, and as always, God bless.